Coming up, the man is an icon and he lives right here in Tulsa. And the latest from the Gilcrease Museum. This and more when we come back. Hello, I'm Sam Jones. I don't enjoy making mistakes, which I do from time to time. We all do. So I charge ahead and try not to make the same mistake again. But when a major organization makes the same mistake over and over, that affects a great many people, I want to know why, especially when millions of dollars are involved. Let me give you some surprising examples. If you've ever watched the local television news, how many car advertisements did you see? When you watch a national TV network, same question. Now think back. Who did the marketing folks target with all those commercials? What about clothing commercials or advertising for travel or carpet cleaning or just about anything else that business tries to sell? The answer is easy, really. According to Nielsen, who's been tracking Americans' habits for decades, the target audience is a special age group, and that age group is 18 to 24 years of age. My question is why? It's a mistake. Recently, I came across an article in the magazine AARP, the American Association of Retired Persons, and full disclosure here, I am a member. According to AARP, the magazine, people over the age of 50 will soon control more than 70% of the disposable income in this country. We buy two-thirds of all the new cars, half of all the computers, and a third of all movie tickets. We spend $7 billion a year on shopping online. That's more than 80% of all the premium travel dollars that flow from our credit cards, too. And when you add it all together, people over 50 years of age come in as the third largest economy in the world, trailing only the gross national product of the United States and China together. Still, according to AARP, older Americans are virtually ignored by marketers mired in last century's obsession with youth. As a matter of fact, according to Nielsen, only 5% of advertising is directed at older consumers. Well, veteran ad man Bob Hoffman recently said, almost everyone you see in a car commercial is between the ages of 18 and 24, and yet it seems people aged 75 to dead buy five times as many new cars as people 18 to 24. Nielsen calls people 50 and up the most valuable generation in the history of marketing. Why are businesses sticking with their 18 to 24 or 49-year-old obsession? Well, old habits die hard. Some say marketers are just planning ahead for the day when the younger ones will be over 50 and they'll be already familiar with the product. But that argument is so full of holes it makes somebody who smokes three packs of cigarettes a day look healthy. And there is hope on the horizon. Some smart executives have figured out what Nielsen's been saying all along. And keep this in mind, the population of 50 plus consumers is projected to grow by 34% between now and 2030. So, before you laugh at somebody over the age of 65 driving a new car, just remember what AARP the magazine says, there's power there my friend, power you may not have. They're the ones buying the products, they're also the ones making donations to such organizations as public television. They also have life experience and better car insurance. Also, they haven't stopped spending, traveling, adapting, and living life to the fullest. So, who is your target audience now? And that's my perspective. Well, he's had a major impact on the world of music and entertainment, and you're going to meet him next on Perspectives.